channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today we will discuss the third law of thermodynamics and its real life applications. The third law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of a perfect crystal at absolute zero is zero. This means that as we approach absolute zero, the entropy of a crystal decreases, eventually reaching a state of perfect order. In the most simplest way, I must say, the third law of thermodynamics says, if an object reaches the absolute zero of temperature, which is zero Kelvin, or minus 273.14 degrees Celsius, or minus 459.67 degree Fahrenheit. The all values are equivalent. So, so what happen if the object reach to absolute zero, its atom will stop moving. But what does this law mean in terms of real life applications? Well, one example can be seen in the production of superconductors. Superconductors are material that exhibit zero electrical resistance at extremely low temperatures. This is because as the temperature drops, the electrons in the material are forced into a state of perfect order, resulting in superconductivity. Another application of the third law of thermodynamics can be seen in the study of black holes. Black holes are known for their incredibly low temperatures, which can be close to absolute zero. As the temperature drops, the entropy of the black hole decreases, leading to the eventually halt of any matter or radiation. This phenomenon is known as Hawking radiation, which is the key concept of the study of black holes. The third law of thermodynamic also has implications in the field of chemistry. In the study of chemical reactions, it is important to consider the entropy of the reactants and product. The third law tells us that as we approach absolute zero, the entropy of a system approaches a minimum value. This means that at low temperatures, the entropy of the system can be used to predict the feasibility of a chemical reaction. In addition to its practical applications, the third law of thermodynamics also has philosophical implications. The law suggests that there is an ultimate limit to the decrease in entropy, which implies that there may be a limit to the disorder and quasi in the universe. The idea has been a topic of debate among scientists and philosophers for many years. In conclusion, the third law of thermodynamics is a fundamental law of nature that has numerous real-life applications from superconductor to black holes to chemical reactions. This law helps us understand the behavior of matter at extremely low temperatures. Additionally, the law has philosophical implications that hint at the ultimate order and the structure of the universe. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.